Okay, so several of you have expressed an interest in having an explanation for the Common Core. So let me go ahead and explain the way it was explained to me. My PhD is not in math education, it's in social studies education, but I've really had to get my head around this because I teach elementary pre-service teachers. So this is what I've gleaned from talking to my colleagues. And I, I'm, I'm not a huge supporter of the Common Core because of testing, but I really like the things that the math standards are trying to do. So let me walk you through some things. First of all, parents are frustrated because they can't help their kids with homework, right? Why is that? Totally normal, because we've never been taught using the same methodology. All right. Fifth grade student gets a problem, 43 times 26. All right. This is called a standard algorithm. Right. All of us who were, went to school in the 70s and 80s and 90s, up until now, we solved this problem using the same algorithm. 3 times 6 is 18. Carry the 1. Here's the problem with that 1. If you ask adults even, what does that 1 mean? That 1's not a 1. That 1 represents a 10. All right? So then we go 4 times 6 is 24. Add 1. It's not adding 1. It's adding 10. So we get 258. Now, before we multiply the next number, we write a 0 right here. And I asked my wife last night when I was going over this presentation beforehand, why do we write the 0 right there? And she said, because we just do. And I said, that's right. But the thing is, the reason we write a 0 there is... We're not multiplying 2 times 3, we're multiplying 20 times 3, right? So this has to, the, the, the quotient or, this, or the product of this has to come down here. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8. We add this up and again we have to carry a 1. That's not a 1 in that case, that 1 is a 100. The answer comes out to be 1,118. Now this is where parents like me have a problem. We've never been taught expanded notation. And this is one of the things, Common Core teaches kids to solve problems multiple ways. So kids come home with a problem with their homework and they say, Mom, help me with this. And parents have only been taught standard algorithm and they don't know how to do expanded. So let me just show you how expanded works in this. You take 20 times 40 and you get 800. Then you take 20 times 3 and you get 60. Then you take 40 times 6 and you get 240. Then you take 3 times 6 and you get 18. You're able to add it up and you get the same thing. It's the same problem, but it's applying a different process. Right? This is expanded form. This is the form actually that I like better because you, I don't miss steps. So we can represent this multiplication problem with a rectangle right here, 40 and 3. This is, total thing is 40, 3 units long, and there's a 3 right there and a 40 right there. Here's the 20 and 6, all right? 43 times 26. 20 times 40 is 800, 3 times 20 is 60. 6 times 40 is 240, 3 times 6 is 18, and it comes up to the same thing, right? We add those numbers up and hopefully we get 1,118, which we do. Common Core is an attempt to get kids, instead of following, instead of following the old method of teaching, this is actually, standard algorithm is actually more abstract than this is because there's a concrete representation right here. All this is is breaking larger problems down into smaller parts and it's making students think about it and think about the process. In the past when we did math we were just told, told to solve it, right? And we need to carry one and my wife said last night that's a tick mark. You just put a tick mark up there. No, it actually represents 10. So Common Core is actually a way to for students to think more deeply about the math I understand it's problematic and it sucks when you as a parent can't help your child with their homework because you haven't been taught this way. If that, if, if that is a consistent thing, I would suggest going in and talking to your child's teacher and sitting down and saying, can you explain standard notes, uh, um, expanded notation or visual representation? Let me give you another example. Third grade times tables, seven times eight equals 56. We're all expected to know, boom, off the top of your head, 56. However, there's different ways of representing this. You can have seven circles with eight dots inside each one, and they can count it up, right? All multiplication is is um, repeated. Multiplication is repeated addition, right? So the Common Core is an attempt to break these abstract algorithms, as an example, into giving the students choices on how they want to solve it. You can solve this problem this way, you can solve it this way, or you can solve it using a standard algorithm. The point is students get to choose, after they've been exposed to all of these, students get to choose 
which one they find to be most effective and most efficient. We would all agree that students at a certain point should know 7 times 8 is 56. But by going through and showing that it's repeated addition, students get, can get a better conceptual grasp on it. Jennifer Trumez is a teacher at Mountain Gap. The first thing she does in math every morning is she puts a problem on the board. She has her students go take the problem in groups of three. They have to solve the problem, and then they have to show their work, and she lets them choose whatever way they want. She gets higher order thinking because not only are students solving the problem, which is an application level, they're also applying whatever process works better for them. All right? I understand there are a lot of problems with Common Core, and they're most, they mostly have to do with testing, and they mostly have to do with teachers not being trained in how to use Common Core and not being able to communicate this to parents. But I'm telling you right now, I'm not on the Common Core bandwagon, but the more I've seen with this stuff, this actually is better for students in the long term because it teaches a conceptual understanding of this stuff rather than, rather than rote memorization and, and the, the abstract principles like using standard algorithm. All right. Hopefully, this is clear. If you have any questions about it, you can send me a message on Facebook or you can email me at jason.obrien at uah.edu. Thanks.